an actual representation of what JPEG Mafia does when he records. <laughs> Review family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be covering the new JPEG Mafia record entitled All My Heroes Are Cornballs. Peggy has returned, coming off of the hype, the critical acclaim, and the rightfully deserved buzz of his previous record, Veteran. A record that is an absolutely experimental abstract hip-hop record, a glitch hip-hop rager, an industrial hip-hop banger, and a half with off-the-wall ideas, and an off-the-wall production style, and an off-the-wall personality. With an emphasis on the personality, Peggy, on literally every level, is a cut above the current rap landscape. There are other bands that are in this kind of noisy hip-hop, glitching hip-hop spectrum with your death grips and your clippings, the latter of which has been releasing some great material recently. He's like one of those memes made seven years ago that no one sees at the time that doesn't get spread at all and it never gets spread, but somehow seven years down the road YouTube just randomly puts it in your recommendation box with absolutely no context without it going viral. He's the rap equivalent of that. Having an underground fan base but simultaneously being kind of unknown still. Abstract Hip Hop's Black Sheep. His dedicated passion in his bars, his straight up absurdism, his proclamations in his ad libs, his constantly shifting beats, his samples and mixing going absolutely all over the place haywire, the way he mixes in his own tongue in cheek delivery with references to pop culture in a clever way that's not just there to be referenced, as well as his abrupt shots of noise and glitch that pops in in his very well orchestrated beats, as well as his expressive nasal easily delivery. It's all just great. There's not one facet that makes JPEG Mafia better than other rappers. Even if he fails on one level, he always makes up for it with something else. And All My Heroes Are Cornballs very much follows up in the legacy, in the vein, in the same vein as Veteran, but it does feel like he's maybe turning up the accessibility a little bit at times without losing his original flair and what made him enjoyable to begin with. The very first track, Jesus Forgive Me, I am a thought. That's a good name. That's, that's a really good name. Which was a single. I love the psychedelic drifting beat on this track. Kind of reminds me a little bit of an old Tyler the Creator project. Specifically, it reminds me of the track Colossus. But you get the normal shots of the distorted glitching, and JPEG Mafia's singing voice actually sounds really, really good on this track. Not to mention you also get that kind of sudden noisiness at times. This track showcases his ability to be able to switch tracks up on a dime even with a short song length, which most of his tracks are quite short, considering this track is not even 3 minutes long. It barely breaches the 2 minute and 30 second mark, and yet it's packed with more content, more variety, more diversity than other rappers could do in tracks twice its length. And he only continues with the focused, hard-hitting bangers with tongue-in-cheek delivery. Keenan vs. Kel is a very busy track. It's constantly moving. Once again, I have to commend his singing voice on this track. It really is great. The only minor gripe I could have with this track is the beat does get a little bit louder than him at times, to the point to where it does occasionally drown him out. Beta Male Strategies, another tongue-in-cheek track, opens up with him eating straight up eating. The beats maybe not as complicated in the first leg as some of the other beats can be in their first leg, but the constant layering as well as the close to the mic claustrophobic rap delivery of Peggy is great, especially near the midway point where he kind of locks in alongside this demonic synth backdrop. I just want to point out there's a track here that's 55 seconds long and it's called JPEG Mafia type beat. <laughs> and if you're, if you're a rapper, some Thing, you're gonna get that reference so hard. I would like to not explain it because I feel like it's one of those things that you're either going to laugh at or if I explain it, it's not gonna be as funny, but th that literally had me laughing so much when I saw that in the track listing. And a lot of the midway point is also very strong. Nothing unlike Peggy's really ever done prior to this record or even on this record, but still extremely intriguing. Grimy Waifu is 
borderline an IDM track in its presentation, if not in its orchestration. Once again, I'm loving his singing voice, especially when it hits those swirling guitars, it hits that kind of ballad vibe. PTSD features one of the more quote-unquote mainstream deliveries that Peggy comes through with on the record. Still with his vocals sliding in and out of the composition, as well as the synths, it all gives it this very glitchy texture. Rap Girl Old X Died No Child Left Behind is this absolutely abstract soundscape. It's a cross between electronic music, R&B, and abstract hip-hop, and the synths absolutely dominate and consume this track. Not in a bad way, it really does sound crystal clear and pristine but migraine-inducing in the best way possible. And the last leg of the record does not slouch either. JPEG Mafia doesn't turn the dial down. You have a track like Free the Frail. From the great guitars without a sour quality to be found in them, to the faint sounds of a lighter being lit near the start, or the way the guest vocalist Helena Delane hums when her appearance, which just adds this eerie, ominous quality to it all. Not to mention the track itself just kind of drowns in this cosmic vibe, and you get these claps. JPEG Mafia really followed up on Veteran really well. These are very focused. It almost feels like a slight window into his psyche and his conscious because they're so short at times, and they just feel like bursts of his imagination. I read somewhere that he made like 93 tracks for this record. So this is just almost like a stream of consciousness, where JPEG Mafia is just throwing throwing so much at the wall, all of his ideas, and they're just bursting out of him in this youthful exuberance, in this great delivery, in his expressive nasally delivery, and it all just comes out usually being fireworks. Sure, there are some moments on this record that do feel kind of like somewhat quote-unquote regurgitated from veteran, but it's such a fire record from a production standpoint, a delivery standpoint. He doesn't have to rely on thousands and thousands of different vocal features and rap features to dominate the track with him. All of his beats are very flavorful, very full of spice. He keeps things abstract and experimental, but so listenable that they're accessible, and it's really amazing that he's been able to break through as he does, and I'm so excited to see what he's going to do in the future. I highly suggest this record to you. I'm going to be giving this record an 8.5 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Please stay for the end screen and links to videos that you might be interested in. Have you heard this new JPEG Mafia album, All My Heroes Are Cornballs? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss the record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. It'll help me out a lot. And subscribe to join the review family today. I'd love to have you here. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. My name is Jay Morris, the review guy. And I'm signing off saying farewell.